What's going on guys, Adam Luce here. Welcome back to another video of Moving Weight Fishing. Today, we got big black fins. We got, you're probably gonna see a couple clips of us catching those tunas. I just thought I'd make a separate video on, I'm gonna cook a lot of sushi next couple days. Uh, don't know how I'm gonna do that because I've never done it before, but we're gonna give it a try because I love eating sushi. I love going out to sushi restaurants, but we caught so many fish, I thought, you know, might as well show all the fish we caught in a separate video on the tuna because I know you guys wanna see that. That's so tuna ass, look. Yeah. Look how deep he's standing. Pinwheel on me right there. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that was that you had to, I mean. I don't dude, he's super heavy. Might be foul hook or something. It's just weird. Oh the gimbal's smoking me. <laughs> I thought it was a beneath at first because it was just on top dead weight and then he went down and started doing his little pinwheel deal, so. That's a nice one. Ooh. <laughs> Quick on me. Here you go. Nope. Deeper than he looks. This turn, this turn, this turn. There we go. It's a nice, nice. one. It's a 15 pounder. They've all been right around the same size. All right, we just got this, probably a 15 pound black fin. Nice one. Um, go ahead and bleed it for you guys. Where's that bucket? What we're doing is, just put them head first in the bucket. And just insert the knife right behind this pack fin right there. Should bleed out. Should go through his gills, see that? That just, I mean, you just want to take care of your meat. It makes it. Oh, Jay's tight. Oh! Ah! Bull? You really hate to see that. Bro, That. what's up with the front rod? Three in a row now. Front rod's usually the one that gets tight. Watch that back. Rod. I am. I'm watching. Okay. Perfect. All right, well, um, I'm not going to do too much talking because we're trying to get more baits out. We're getting bites right here, but we're going to let this fish bleed out. You're and I thought you were gonna say I'm gonna let him go. <laughs> Pretty much it. See you guys when we're tight again. All right, we're gonna go ahead and weigh this fish. I'm guessing he's a 15 pounder. On the boga, you know me. 16. 18. 18. 18 pounder. A little heavier than we thought. Can't complain with a nice 18 pound black one. Go ahead, let him bleed out a little bit more, and then we'll throw him in the cooler. I knew he was a little heavy. All right, come behind the peck fin here. Up into the head. That strong piece there. It's like a bone or something, dude. Yeah. yeah. Follow it all the way up.
the youthful me there, Jay. You know me. It's a tuna, Jay. That is your best piece of meat off the tuna, your top loin. Nice and pink. We'll cut out the bloodline in a minute, but you can tell why he divides the tuna into sections like that. It's because I got this big, very pronounced rib cage right here. All that bloodline in the middle, so might as well not cut it into your meat, you know? Yeah. Same thing on the bottom, really. She already got it split. Cut out all this. Raggedy. It's raggedy. Imagine me throwing my 12 foot, dude. Alright, so we're gonna skin it. Don't you want to leave a little bit of meat? Like, as yeah, we're gonna leave a little bit of meat just because the skin will kind of stick to the fillet. All generous there, Jack. You know me. Because then it gets stuck and you gotta sit there and peel it off and it's, it gets ugly after that, so. Sorry about the background noise. Catfish are coming out of the water. That is your piece that you make sushi out of because it's not raggedy, it's just not, you know, the, the best sashimi grade. And this is a piece that you eat just plain. Now we're eating this raw too, but this is just a better texture. It's just like butter in your mouth, you know? Look at them coming out of the water. CJ, you have to look. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, TikTok. Yes. Be such a good idea. That looks nice. That does look really nice. Let me get that. So let's cut out this bloodline. Probably just trim that little piece right there. You always do a final trim before you eat it anyway. Yeah. I'm going to cut it up in a smaller. That's it. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful piece of black tonight right there. Look at that. Mm. Just kidding. Got nothing in his tummy. Look at that big eye. Big eye tuna, G. Same thing on the other side. Got our four beautiful, beautiful piece of black in there. We're gonna go ahead and back them up real quick. Beautiful. That's why you got that top one. Look at those. Oh, it's gonna be good. All right, guys, back in the kitchen now. I got my brother Dan with me. He's been filming my videos, by the way. He edits all my videos. Full time, full time editor, part time filmer, but he's gonna be coming on the boat a lot this summer and filming videos. Oh, yeah. Um, he's gonna be cooking most of the sushi. We just did two trials of making sushi. We did just cucumber, tuna, sesame, and then the rice with the seaweed and it was really, really good, but we didn't want a little practice before we did it. Easier than I thought, but let me not get ahead of myself. Dan, what yeah. do we got going? All right, well the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make tuna tatake while the rice is cooking, but we're gonna cook up the rice for the sushi and we're gonna show you how that's done. All right, let's dive right into it. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna weigh out about 12 ounces of medium grain white rice. Let me turn the scale on real quick. All right, it's at zero. We're gonna take that and put it inside of the rice cooker bowl. All right, so one important thing to do when you're cooking sushi rice is to make sure that the water's clear and you need to rinse all the rice. So watch how cloudy it is when I do the first rinse. When you're rinsing rice, you don't wanna squish it, pick it up and go like that. You wanna just sift your fingers through it like this in a circular motion, almost cutting sometimes. All right, now that's the first rinse. We're gonna empty this out and go again. 
Uh, what's the point of you rinsing it multiple times? You want to rinse it until the water is clear. And what that does is it gets most of the impurities out of the rice and also gets the starch out so it's really sticky. Gotcha. All right, so look how clear the water is now when I rinse it. This is when you know your sushi rice is ready to be cooked. So what we're going to do next is we're going to strain out the water. All right, the next step we're going to do is we're going to take equal parts water to mix with the rice. So we're going to take 12 ounces of water. I'm going to put that into the rice cooker, make sure to get all the rice off the edges. Once that's in there, mix it around a little bit. We're ready to put it into our rice cooker. Okay, so for this next step, all you have to do is pop in the rice, close your lid, and then select white rice. Okay, so the first thing we're making is tuna tatake. In order to do that, we're gonna have to get some avocado oil or any other neutral oil in a pan as hot as you can. Let that move around a little bit. We're just gonna let that heat up for a little bit. So we're gonna take this piece of top loin tuna right here, black fin tuna, look how nice that looks. We're gonna lightly salt it, very lightly. You don't wanna go too heavy. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip over to the next side. Make sure all of it's got a little bit of salt. Did you get your picture? Mm -hmm. This pan with the oil sitting on a high heat. We're gonna sear each side of the tuna for a few seconds. You can hear it sizzling right away. We just want to get the edges cooked. You don't want to cook too much of the tuna because you want the inside of the tuna to be rosted. All right, so we've let this tuna sit in for about 20 seconds. 20 seconds. We're going to give it like about five, 10 more seconds, and then we're going to flip it to the next side. So we're going to let it sit on this for a little bit. We're going to let it sit on this side for a little bit longer. And we're going to flip it over to this edge. Hold it up here for a few seconds. Alright, now we're gonna take this. We wanna make sure to get every part of the tuna a nice sear layer. All right, so what we're gonna do next is I have some thinly sliced yellow onions I sliced up earlier. We're gonna layer the bottom of the plate with them. I sliced up about half of a yellow onion. You can do a little bit more or less depending on how much tuna you're gonna have. Hey, look at this tuna, boys. Absolutely beautiful color. That's what I've been waiting for. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna layer the tuna on the bed of yellow onion. Oh my. You can so next, we're gonna take some ponzu sauce. We're gonna pour that over all the tuna. I'm a little heavier with ponzu, you have nice. And then after that, we're gonna take some green scallions, and put them on top. Okay. Okay, so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna do a nice little taste test. Wanna make sure to get some tuna. Get some onion from out under. No, oh, I am. I know you. You gonna take this? Good? Really? So good. All right, boys. <laughs> that does look fine. I have to try a little petite piece right here. No, I also need some more ponzu. You need some more ponzu. Nice piece. Mmm. Literally just melts in your mouth. But I like the 
onion on there. Nice mm -hmm. little crunch pop. Did you film for your channel? No. You did I forgot it? to. Get the yellow onion. You need yellow onion. You gotta get onion on there. Oh, he doesn't like onion. You don't? Tastes good on there. Mmm. What do you think? That is delicious. Look at Seriously. Is he looking at? Yeah. Alright, guys, so our rice should be done. Let's take a look. Don't get too close. The steam's gonna fog up the lens. <laughs> Alright, perfect. We're gonna take this out. Make sure you wanna have like a towel or something so you don't burn yourself. Film me. Film me. Film me. Okay. So what we're gonna do next is I have three ounces of Japanese rice vinegar weighed out for our 12 ounces of rice. We're gonna let that go in there. We're gonna mix that in. And when you mix sushi rice, you really don't wanna smush it. You wanna wet your wooden spoon with a damp towel. Make sure to hold on. And you wanna just lightly get it off the edges. You don't wanna smush, you wanna do like a cutting motion to spread out the rice vinegar. Okay, so next we're gonna take our sushi nori. We got this from an Asian market. You can get them at any Asian market or you can get them at any supermarket if they have an international section. We're gonna take the glossy side, this side, and face it down. What we're gonna do is we're gonna cut it in half Actually, I want to cut it a little more than half. We're going to give this side a bigger chunk. So we're going to take the damp towel off of our rice for a minute. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to wet my hands. You want to keep your hands damp when you're rolling sushi because the rice is very sticky and you don't want it to stick to your hands. About this much. Put it onto my seaweed. A little more. Can't worry about it. We're going to spread out the rice onto the seaweed. Onto the nori. We're gonna take a mixture of white and black sesame seeds and sprinkle them on the rice. You don't want too much, just a nice little bit. Okay, so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna pick up our nori that got wet. Pick up our nori. We're gonna put it onto our sushi roller. Rice down. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut a, a nice, almost rectangle piece of our tuna. I would say petite pitcher. All right, that's perfect right there. We're gonna come. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna saran wrap it while we cut it. So we're gonna put our saran wrap onto the avocado roll and put it over and shape the roll. Start cutting. We're gonna cut up this tuna into smaller pieces because we're gonna be making a crazy tuna roll which calls for spicy tuna. So right now I'm just making a simple roll. I'm gonna do a little piece of tuna, avocado, cucumber, and cream cheese. And we don't have the correct cream cheese. Uh, you want like the hard block one. We just got like the whipped cream cheese, but it'll work, you know. So. While he's doing that, I'll show you guys how to make some spicy tuna for a crazy roll. Making this nice roll there. And I'm just doing this nice roll right there. It's gonna come out pretty nice. It's coming, you know, it's coming, boys. I'm not as good as Dan is, but it's still gonna taste the same, promise. That's all you gotta worry about, the taste. To make our spicy tuna, we gotta add a few ingredients together. We're gonna take some nice sriracha sauce. Get 
get a good amount of the sriracha in there. Then we're gonna take our kimi kimichi sauce. Add a small amount of that. It's gonna be pretty spicy. Yeah. And then we're gonna add the sesame oil. Tiny bit. We're gonna add our mayonnaise. Just some Heinz, you know, OG stuff. I just finished up my roll there. Doesn't look as pretty as Dan's, but she's gonna eat, trust me. The only thing we did different is we used a little bit of cream cheese and I just tried it. So good. This is gonna be the spicy tuna for the spicy tuna roll. Delicious, Dan. Seriously. All right. I'm not just saying that for the camera. Okay, so what I'm doing now is I'm taking my sushi I'm laying it on the sushi bamboo roller. I'm gonna take our tuna, lay a nice thick filet there, avocado, put it in our roll. It's all right though. We make do with what we have. It comes out good. It's a big one. And I I'll go back. It's good. Press down our bamboo roller. Excess rice off. I don't want it sticking to the roller. Like it was going somewhere, you catch it? <laughs> yeah. It actually stays together pretty well. Play it like that, and like that. Okay, now I'm gonna do the tempura stuff. Now I'm gonna add some spicy mayo to the top. Now we're gonna add some tempura flakes. We got some nice green scallions. All right, now we're gonna go put that in the fridge and let it chill. All right, so we're making a nice hand roll for Johnson. What's a hand roll, Dad? A hand roll is a roll where you roll it into a cone shape in a hand. You just put in like a simple rice and some fish. You roll it into a cone shape and it's supposed to be eaten immediately by the recipient. Put the roll in my hand. Scoop in some spicy tuna. Johnson! Does he get that whole thing? Yeah. You gonna make one for each of us? Next, what you do is you roll it I'm so like a cone. You're supposed to eat it, it's a hand roll. Dad, show me how to get hold the bottom so it doesn't fall out. A little ice cream cone. Wow. 
Mmm. You have no idea. That's Good. a spicy tuna. Mm. Good. Very good. Show me real fast because we're about to watch a movie. Wait, what's up, YouTube? I better get in this video. You're getting in the video. Matt, do you wish you were here right now, Blade? Look at that. You got a little petite petit hand roll. A little petite hand roll. You know me. Spicy tuna. One side in your mouth. The rice is so hot. Alright, let me smoke it. Come on. Sit here. Some nice vegetable oil in this pan to fry up some tempura flakes. And clump it. A little clump, Centavious. I know you do. You man guys behind, know how it is. The man behind the camera. You know how it is. The man behind the camera, you know how it is. Whipping it up today. That's good. A little beauty in that. A little scotch berry at the end there. Mm -hmm. Man is licking the crap out of my foot right now. I don't know what, the tuna's got and tweaking. Thanks. Well, he's doing it. Alright, come film me. I'm rolling. He's geeking out, bro. Alright, so now we're gonna roll Dude, this. Dude, Elliot would have loved this. Rip to the big man. You guys don't know who Elliot is, but he's a real G out there. RIP. Boy, Elliot. He's our cat, by the way. That freaking ripped like four years ago. All right, that's a nice roll. What we're gonna do next, though? What we're gonna do next? You guys don't understand what's about to happen. So now we're gonna take this nice roll, plop it down in the freaking and noozle it. We're gonna roll the roll inside a roll. You guys know how it is out there. I don't think they do, Dan. They don't know. First they don't time, know, but they should know. First time making sushi really shuts it up. First time making sushi. Let us know how you guys think we did. And guys, I went to freaking. Five different stores to get stuff. Okay, it's coronavirus time, sure all you know. Do you know how hard for me it was to find things? I literally almost lost my mind. I was in Walmart for like three hours, then I went to Fresh Market, then I went to Publix, and then I drove like 30 minutes to an Oriental Asian place, and they had Eric Lang. So, love to see it. Me and I are kind of tweaking out at this point. We're yeah, just so we, hungry. We have literally, I'm sure you guys won't see because it's gonna be edited in, into hopefully 20 minutes. We have been cooking, like preparing tuna, these sushi rolls, 9.45, we started at 5 o'clock. Yeah. It's worth it though, guys. Five if you hours. ever have the chance to make your own sushi, you should definitely try it. it. Tastes just as good, if not better, than restaurants. So good. Won't be the last time we're doing it, boys. Definitely not. Look at how beautiful. It looks like a little freaking pus and tavious. You guys know what that means? <laughs> Alright, Dan. Dan's dropping her in. I'm suspect on how this is gonna turn out. So this is our first time making a tempura roll. First time making sushi. A little nervous about everything, to be honest, but you just gotta free ball it. I'm gonna layer it onto the sushi. Yeah, buddy, a little heavy there. Well, it's gonna, it's gonna, not all gonna keep on to the sushi when I pick it up, but I just wanna get enough to cover it all in a nice thick layer. All right, boys, we're going straight in. Oh my god. Hey, paper towel. It's done. Our roll is done. We burnt it a little bit on that side. The other side came out nice. Beauta. Beauta. I... Oh, ho, ho. A little fried cream cheese in there. That is going to be delicioso. Oh my a nice look. god. Boys, look at Victor. I'm coming in hot, baby. Me and Dan are coming in. No, nah, it is. Look at that. Are you kidding me? I need a little B-roll of that. Oh. Alright guys, just finished up here. Huge shout out to Dan for doing a lot for the sushi making tonight. Look at those rolls. Are you kidding me? Absolute beauty. That's my plate, as you can tell. Little sussy. We got, Dan, tell, tell me the rolls we got going. All right. So the first roll up here we have, it's tuna, avocado, cream cheese, rolled inside of a nori, wrapped in sushi rice, and then wrapped inside of another nori, and then we fried the outside with tempura batter. And it's coated in eel sauce. This one is a crazy tuna roll. It has tuna, avocado, and it's wrapped in rice, then we have spicy tuna on top with tempura flakes and scallions and a little bit of spicy mayo. 
the roll next to it is a dragon roll with tuna. We just put tuna in there, avocado, and then coated the top with avocado. Then we have some nice hand rolls over here. Just some nice tuna on top of rice, some sashimi, and Adam's little special cream cheese roll. <laughs> Alright, everybody. Tempura roll. Some sauce on it. It's got eel sauce already though. Mmm. Good. Chauncey? Right here, Dan. Chauncey's going for the avocado roll. That's the prettiest roll, roll in my opinion. Uh, dragon roll, you said? Mm -hmm. That is the prettiest roll. Good? Mmm. Chauncey's got that one. I'm gonna go for the spicy, the crazy spicy, tuna. Yeah. Dad, come on, try my roll. Don't do me like that. Wait, let me get Dan's reaction. That is a huge roll. Yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna fit this all in. You it's gonna cut be that nice. In half. No, you got a one Dad, bite. Try what? my roll. <laughs> Holy smokes, man, that was a big bite. How is it? <laughs> All right, I'm going in Dan, on Adam's Dan roll needs here. A little bit over here. Dad, check my roll out, okay, for me. It must be falling apart, but it still tastes good. Tell me the truth. What do you think? Mmm. I think you've got a future. <laughs> Shut up. Dan, how is that spicy tuna roll? It's so good, but you gotta take two bites. You can't try one bite that one. Guys, I can't. I cannot wait anymore. Okay. You guys know it's good. It looks delicious. Huge yeah. shout out to Dan try for not being behind the camera. I was behind the camera for most of this. He was cooking. Chauncey was just watching TV. You know him. Um, we lit, we made sushi for five hours. So. I'm, my mind's going blank. I'm going to dive in. Really appreciate you guys watching this video. Make sure to drop a like if you liked it. Drop a comment if you guys are going to try making sushi after me. I'm telling you what. I went to the store, spent $60 on all this stuff, and now I'm going to have it in the um, I'm gonna have it in the pantry forever. Make sushi all the time. Make sure to hit that subscription button if you liked the video. Stay tuned for more. Until next video, move away. It's out.